Hey everyone, it's Monica. Welcome back to Homeschool Voices. Today I'm making a video while I run errands because I'm a homeschool mom. So today I just wanted to talk to you about something that I've been thinking about. And it's this idea that we're not qualified as parents to teach our kids. And that is a common criticism of homeschooling and it's also a um, common reason why people are scared to homeschool is because they don't they don't think they can they don't think that they're qualified so here here's a couple of thoughts on that one thought that I have is that well if you went to a public school and you don't feel that you know enough about honestly basic subjects to teach your kids why would you put them back in the same system that resulted in you feeling so unconfident feeling like you know so little about the subjects does that does that even make any sense no it does not make sense we need to be comfortable in our own skin and real with ourselves and with others that we don't know everything and there's a lot of ways around that one is obviously tutors or you know curriculums that lay everything out very clearly but I'm gonna I'm just gonna talk about really basic education reading writing math very basic stuff okay because I feel like as homeschool parents our main job is to give a very strong foundation and then support our kids um, with their interests um, beyond that and and don't don't take me super literally I mean I do teach my kids some other stuff that's a little bit beyond the basics but I'm just saying in general I think that's that's the important thing the really important priorities that we should have as homeschool parents and so Let's just think of the basics. Reading. Uh, I, I would think most of you could figure that one out. Okay, I just, that's not that hard. If you don't like to read, I'm telling you, you, you need to develop a liking. You need, because you need to be a good influence for your kids. They need to see you reading. They have, they need to, or at least listening to audiobooks, one or the other. <laughs> Preferably reading maybe 10 minutes a day. Anyway, let's talk about writing. A lot of people don't feel confident writing. And this is, this is an important thing that you're going to need to do. So it is okay to be real and say, hey, I'm not good at this. But in my opinion, if you're not good at something and it's a, like a basic, I'm talking basic. I'm not talking trigonometry. Okay. I'm not talking writing a novel. <laughs> I'm just talking about maybe being able to write three paragraphs and it's understandable to others because it's organized in a logical way. There's capitals, there's periods, things are spelled correctly, and there's, you know, the basic grammar is good. This, this is what I'm talking about. I'm just talking about basics. I'm not going into, you know, really advanced subjects and, and saying that you, you should know those things. I'm saying if you aren't good at the basics, and it's okay, because a lot of us were in the public school system and it wasn't great for a lot of us. A lot of us had good experiences, some of us did not. I did not have the best experience. It's okay. I'm not a good speller. So for me, you know, that is something I've had to work on. I have to admit, hey, I am not good at spelling. I'm embarrassingly bad at spelling. But I have worked on it. I admit to my kids that I'm bad about it. I tell them I don't want you to have the same problem because people are ruthless and they're cruel and if they see a weakness such as bad spelling they're just if they want to dismiss you that's their excuse right there and they'll just dismiss everything you have to say because you spelled a word wrong or two words wrong and and it's there's no reason to handicap yourself like that in life and that's what I tell them and in addition I have taken steps to improve my spelling and to learn more about spelling rules so there's a great book I found called The Logic of English. Now the point isn't the book, but it's a great book. You should check it out. The point is not the book. The point is that I recognize there's a problem. You have to recognize a problem. You have to admit it. Once you recognize it, then you can address the problem. It may not be obvious to you at first how to address it, but you're going to reach out to friends. You're going to talk to people. And eventually, if you want to solve the problem, you're going to solve the problem. You just can't help but solve it. If you want to, you're going to figure it out. So I feel that I have made great strides. I've improved my spelling. But almost more importantly, I have been a good example to my kids because I have told them through my actions that learning how to spell is 
so important that I'm going to do it. So if you're not good at something, it is important for a couple of reasons. One reason is so that you can guide your, your children in the basics. Uh, but another reason is to tell them that it's so important that you're going to do it. Why would you tell your kids that they need to spend time on something that you don't even think is important enough for you to spend time on? Does that make sense if you think about it? You, you have to do this advanced math, but I don't want to do it. So I'm going to pay for a tutor because I don't want to be bothered. Of course you could learn how to do it. You don't want to learn how to do it. So sometimes you need to stop and think. Is this actually important for my child? If it's important for my child, why isn't it important for me? And because you know your kids, whether they voice that thought or not, they're thinking it. And you're thinking, well, my mom gets by just fine in her life and she doesn't know this stuff. So I think it's just an important thing to think about. Is it important or is it not? Um, and just be real. And sometimes, sometimes, not always, you know, sometimes be that good example by taking initiative and learning those things yourself if they truly are important to learn. You're going to find that a lot of things that are just taken for granted in the school system as important maybe actually upon reflection are not as important as they first seemed. And other things you're going to say, you know what? That is important, like with me with the spelling, you know? I feel that it's important. I don't want to rely on spell check, because spell check doesn't always catch things, and sometimes it's very embarrassing when it does not catch. I can tell you from experience. So I think it's important for me, and then I provide that good example to my kids. So it's not the end of the world if, if you're not really good at something. In fact, it's almost a great thing because you're able to provide that example. You're able to show your kids through your actions that something is so important that you're going to take the time to learn it too. So I hope that was helpful to you guys. If you like this video, please click thumbs up. If you want to see more videos like this, please click subscribe and the notification bell next to it. Uh, I will chat with you guys tomorrow, hopefully, or the next day. In the meantime, happy homeschooling and have a great day.